Hey, this is Tyler from SpectraCal, now part of Portrait Displays. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calibrate an Azo CG318-4K monitor using a 3D LUT. This process also applies to the CG248-4K. Now in these new Azo monitors, they have something called an extended 3D LUT interface, and that makes the process slightly different than with the previous models. Now, since this interface is in a different part of the video path than the normal models, we can't use the built-in pattern generator in the monitor. We have to use an external pattern generator. So if you're using the monitor as a graphics monitor hooked up to the GPU of a computer, then you would use Client 3 as your pattern generator. If you're using this as a video monitor hooked up to like a Blackmagic or AJA output device, then you would want to use Virtual Forge or Resolve or some other video-based pattern generator. In this particular one, I'm going to use a standalone generator called the Meridio 6G. So I'm going to start with that process. So I'm using our Lightning LUT workflow. The Lightning LUT works unbelievably good for these two monitors. So that's what we're going to use. For my meter, I'm going to use a SpectraCal C6. The 318-4K has a new backlight technology called PSF Phosphor. It's a new type of red phosphor in an LED. So we have added that table to the C6. It's right here. It's called LED PFS Phosphor. And that's a new feature in CalMAN 2016. So now that I have my C6 connected and my PFS Phosphor meter mode selected, I'm going to select our source, which is going to be the Meridio. Now if you are using the Azo as a video monitor, you want to turn on something called range extension and super white in the Azo's menu system. That tells the monitor it's receiving a video signal instead of a computer 0 to 255 signal and to properly expand that to the black and white points of the monitor. So if you're doing a video calibration, that's what you would do. So now that I'm connected to it as a pattern generator, I'm going to connect to the Azo as a 3D LUT. Now this new extended LUT interface on these two AZO models only allows us to calibrate a 3D LUT, so you're not going to be able to use a 1D LUT calibration with these models. But the 3D LUT gets unbelievably good results, so don't worry about that. I'm going to hit connect. Now one other cool feature about this new extended LUT technology in the AZO monitors in the 318 and the 248 is that now we can calibrate and overwrite the built-in presets, not just Cal 1, 2, and 3. So if you want to, you can recalibrate Rec. 709 preset or the DCI P3 preset or the Simpy C or sRGB. It's kind of a cool feature. Before we were limited to just the, the Cal 1, 2, and 3. So now we can overwrite those existing ones as well. I'm going to use Cal 1 in this demo, but I could use any of the other presets. Now you want to make sure you select the same mode that you want to calibrate. In this case, if you go to the mode button on the display, it will tell you the number that corresponds with Cal 1. So Cal 1 on the UI of the monitor is mode 9. So we want to select mode 9. Go to next. This is where we would set our calibration targets. I'm just going to leave them to the default of BT1886, Rec. 709, D65. And now I'm going to hit our auto cal button. Lightning LUT is already selected. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to take 101 readings, calculate the correction, and upload it directly into the monitor. This is going to take about five minutes, so I'm going to quickly fast forward the video, and we'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, our 3D LUT is complete. A little under six minutes. Since CalMAN automatically uploaded the LUT to the monitor, we're going to skip this page. And now we're going to run our verification color checker set. Okay, our measurements are complete, and as you can see, this is an unbelievably accurate calibration. Our average LTE is at 0.1, and remember the visual threshold of error is 1.0. Our max is 0.4, so all of our measured patches are below the visual threshold. 
Thanks for watching this video, and don't forget, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if your all access is expired, make sure you renew it to get the latest and greatest features in Calman.